4D Opening Japanese Fan Acrylic Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a Japanese fan nail art design. So this one has just a very plain gradient background, and then it's got a fan that opens up across the nail. So it's very similar. I've done like a, a hand of cards nail and a lotus blossom nail that are kind of the same technique, but this one is for a fan. It's a little different uh, just to get it to look like a fan and have like the posts going down. So I hope you guys like this as much as I do, and don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. So to begin with, I'm going to start by creating a gradient in the back of the nail with light pink and white. If you are going to be recreating this, if you're not going to do the same type of a pattern using the same colors as I did on the fan itself, you may want to switch up the colors in the background. So I did white and pink. It's actually an off-white and pink so that it's very complementary to the fan itself, which is bright white and red and black. And so I did pink instead just so that the fan would kind of pop off and it's the fan is much more intense colors than this so that this does fade into the background as it should with still being complementary and then in case the nail with a layer of clear acrylic just like that to make sure it is nice and strong especially if you're going to be doing something like this that has a hole in the nail which you'll see in a moment you want it to be nice and strong and have a layer of clear acrylic on it or be thick enough acrylic that it's not going to be fragile and that hole isn't going to completely compromise the strength then file it into shape with your e-file make sure that it is nice and smooth and perfect and then take your e-file and a very narrow bit and i'm going to like i said poke a hole right through it or drill a hole through it and you're going to do that near the tip of the nail the nail i'm using is an almond nail so it has to go almost right down into that very end very free edge of it just Gently work your way through it. I know for me, whenever I'm putting holes in a nail, I, I always do it so slowly and so carefully because I'm afraid that all of a sudden it's going to go through and I'm going to hit my finger, which has never happened, but nonetheless. Then I'm going to take, and I'm going to take five nail tips, five white nail tips, and I'm going to cut them into the segments of my fan. So just make little trapezoids. So cut them first into a square, then angle cut two of the sides. After you have all five of those in, one of them I already glued a piece of wire to just with some nail glue and line those up so they create your little fan. Then figure out how long you need to make your other pieces of wire and those other pieces are going to have a little loop on the bottom of them and then line those up. So as you can see I have the loop so that the loop will overlap that other first piece of wire. Then just take and mark those other pieces with the loops on them, the other four, and then glue those to the bottoms of the other four segments of fan so that they're the length that when you overlap them the loops will intersect that first post. So you just kind of have to measure them and line them up. And you'll see why in just a second why, but those all have to line up so that all the little circles end up in the same place when they're lined up for the fan. And the closer you can get that to being exact, the better. So it's just something that you kind of have to look at and play with and be kind of meticulous in your measurements for. So just glue those all to the undersides of those fan segments with some nail glue. And then after you have that done, you can go ahead and paint them. So to start with, I painted all of them with a little very simple lace pattern near the top. So I started out with a half circle and then I'm going to add intersecting half circles all along that inside edge like so. And with this you can play around with it. You can do whatever kind of pattern on your fan you want. When I was looking at different pictures of Asian fans, Japanese fans, however you want to call them, I saw so many that were gorgeous. A lot of them were floral but I saw some that had fish on them or were just a pattern. Some of them were just super lacy across the whole thing and you can play around with it and do whatever your favorite thing is on it. It's just very open to opportunities and making things personalized. So finish off your little lace pattern if you are going to be replicating mine and do that across all five. Then taking a darker burgundy color, hold two of your pieces together and start painting the little bases of your roses on them. After you have the first one completely done, you can set that one aside or fill in some green for the leaves, a darker green. But then set that first one aside when you're done with it and pick up the second one. So you're going to go down the line holding them together. So just set that one aside and then take the next one in line and hold it so that they over that they overlap but they the edges meet and then continue the pattern on the next one so the way you're doing this is you're going to make it so that when they open up in the end the pattern is complete so then set that one aside and grab the next one and continue your pattern once again until they all have your little rose base on them and this is just the first step i did it 
just in the beginning here so that I would have an idea of what I'm going to continue my pattern as. And then you can go through with, for me, I used a brighter shade of red to add the highlights on my rose petals and a brighter shade of green to highlight my leaves. So there's the brighter shade of green. Just add a couple little lines in each of the leaves to make them look a little bit more dimensional. And then take your brighter red paint and add your little rose petals inside of this. This would actually make a really pretty Valentine's Day nail as well. You could even just do the rose pattern on a nail with some of the lace. That would look really pretty for Valentine's Day. If if you guys are low on Valentine's Day ideas, I do have a couple that I will be showing you when the time comes. So once again, go through your little line of line of nails and pick up the next one in line and pick and add the details to it with the red. My red paint is really thick, so it makes these little lines fairly easy. For me, I think when it comes to paint, either thick paint adds little skinny lines well or very thin paint. I don't know what that is, but thicker paint, you can kind of drag it and stretch it if that hopefully will seem like it is logical at all and with thin paint it just makes the lines easy so I'd either thin out your paint or use a thicker paint like I am to do that like so then go through and apply a very thin layer of matte gel top coat to each of the fan segments and cure them after they're all cured line them line one of the fan segments up with that first of with the first one that is just the post mark where the circle is hitting it bend that up so that it's got a 90 degree angle in it and then layer up all of your fan segments on that 90 degree post so that they all have that little swivel action going and they line up really well put the post through the nail through that hole that you made in it and then fold it underneath so it's going to actually create more of a u shape so it's going to have two 90 degree angles in it one of them on top of the nail then it goes through the nail then tucks underneath when you have that other angle tucked underneath cut it off so it's not quite so long so it doesn't sticking all the way up but then after you have that in there glue that in place so that it isn't going to wiggle around and you so just layer up a little bit of nail glue and then after you have that secure it with some clear acrylic so it's not going to the nail glue is just a temporary hold then grab a piece of black thread or whatever color you want to use for this one i'd either do black green or red and glue that to the first post and then you can trim off any extra and then grab the second fan segment and get that one so it's in place where you want it to be in the end and then put a little bit of nail glue on the bottom of the post and glue that little piece of thread in place. Just put the glue down, hold it there. It doesn't take too long, hopefully, for that to hold. And then grab the next fan segment and just keep going down the line. That way, when you open it and you pull on that little end of your thread, the fan can't open all the way up or the fan segments can. Some be going to the right and some go to the left. They all it'll only open up into that perfect shape that you have. So it won't do more than it's supposed to if that, if that makes sense. So then add, keep going down the line, add a little bit more of the glue. And if you get to the point where you glued something incorrectly, this is pretty easy to just kind of pop off if you pull on it, it should come off. So if that does happen, then you can fix it. Otherwise, it does seem to also hold strong enough that you shouldn't have a problem with it coming off if you don't want it to. And then after you're done, you can cut off the little pull end of your string to whatever length you like. I cut mine fairly short but still long enough that I can hold it and then as you can see you can just pull it open and the fan will open I love the way this turned out it's just such a cool idea I'm so happy with just the way the flowers and everything turned out I hope you guys like it as much as I do and please share any recreations with me on Facebook or Instagram I would love to see them and I will see you in my next video bye